Okay, so I am absolutely full of a cold and I don't have a script for this, but you know what? Doesn't matter. This is cool. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pine64's announcement for March, but we're not going to go through the whole thing. No, instead I want to focus on what the coolest part of the announcement is. Sorry to the rest of the announcement, but trust me, this is seriously cool. So in today's video, I'm going to gush about the Quartz Pro 64 right now on the Linux Lounge. We're going to be talking about the newly announced Quartz Pro 64. Now this computer is going to join Pine64's other single board computers, but wow, I have to say, this one is seriously impressive. I do not think that there's anything else on the market that is quite like this. This thing absolutely destroys the Raspberry Pi and any other single board computers like that, and it's leagues ahead of Pine64's other computers. It really is that impressive. The only thing that I can think to compare it to is perhaps Apple's M1 devices, but they are way more expensive than this device, aren't currently fully supported by Linux, and just are generally for a different demographic. So let's take a look at what you get with this thing. Primarily what you get is a device with an RK3588 chip. That's an 8 core system on a chip with 4 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores. And I've got to say, an 8 core CPU on a single board computer, that is seriously impressive. You get a Mali GPU with 4 cores, not sure how that's going to perform, I'd be interested to see that. But apparently it's capable of driving an 8K display and multiple 4K displays, that is that is absolutely insane. You've got some pictures of the device here. They couldn't get any actual pictures apparently, but this should do. I've got to say, it looks pretty cool. What I'm wondering is, if would this fit in a standard PC case? I'm not sure, just looking at it, maybe it makes me think it might be. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, we see a sort of short rundown of what the specs of this device are gonna be. And I've got to say, it is seriously impressive. You get 16 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage, which should be enough for most purposes. You get USB-C, USB 3, two USB 2.0 ports, some HDMI ports, you get some SATA ports if you want to connect a hard drive, a PCIe port. I've got to say this is seriously impressive for a single board computer. Now, apparently this thing's going to be pretty expensive. I remember reading on here that it's going to be north of $300, which is very expensive for a single board computer. But consider the fact that this thing is a true desktop replacement, or at least from what I can tell, it's probably going to be that. So for that price, it's actually pretty good when you consider that the only other product on the market costs several thousands of dollars, that being the Apple M1 machines. So I've got to say, it really does amaze me that Pine64 have managed to do this at this price. Now, once this thing comes out, it's only going to be available for developers, but in time, you should be able to buy one of these things if you want one. And I've got to say, yeah, I really do want one of these things. The price is probably a little bit too high for me, but just the thought of having a single board computer with 16 gigabytes of RAM, 8 CPU cores, this thing will be a true desktop replacement if you're a ARM Linux enthusiast. But for now, that's pretty much all I've got to say about this thing. I've got to say, I am very, very impressed. So, with that said, I thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.